guys so i'm here with my face routine and nighttime video so i'm gonna actually show you guys my three steps that i do to my face morning and night and it's just three easy steps so without me sitting here blabbing let's go on ahead and check that out hey you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i do my face routine with my three easy steps so right now i'm just tying up my hair so i don't have any loose hair in my face when i wash it so step one as you see cleansing i'm gonna go ahead and give it just one pump and gonna go ahead and work that into lather into my face and make sure i just scrub away all the dirt the makeup just everything from the day's environment off my face give it a really good scrub sometimes i may use like a spin brush but recently i just been using my hands it works very well so next i go ahead and pat dry my face with a white washcloth and i just make sure i just pat my face not white but pat my face that way i don't really irritate it and stuff then after that, I go ahead and tone, step two, and I'll use a little small cotton swab, as you see here, or cotton ball, I should say, and I just um, spread that all over my face with this astringent, making sure to just get deep into my pores, especially around my nose areas, as you see, I focus there, and just really scrub it, kind of make sure I just get everything, and once you see the cotton ball, you'll see like what's left from when you wash your face. As I'll show you here, it looks pretty gross yeah that's gross so once that's done I go ahead and just kind of help my hair my face dry a little faster by fanning it so that way the astringent is all dry on my face and as you can see I'm just showing you like still a little bit of bumps here and there but overall like I must say I'm like happy with just walking out the door my face looking like this so I'm really proud of this next step is three which is moisturize and I'll go ahead and give that two squirts or two pumps <laughs> whoops kind of spilt it there but yeah just do two pumps and I just kind of work that into my face um, making sure I just really moisturize everywhere and really work the product into my face and making sure that it's really like seeped in there and then here I'm just kind of just patting my face again making sure the product is like well into my face and I really moisturized it Next, I'm just showing you, like, again, just, like, how my face has really cleared up and it looks really well. And also, added step, don't forget to moisturize your lips. We don't want dry lips. That way, you know, they're nice and moist. Okay. So, as you guys can see, I just finished my three easy steps that I follow morning and night. And um, that's cleanse, tone, and moisturize. So, the products I showed to you before, I found these three products these three lovely products from Ross for eight bucks they came together just like this and I found them for eight bucks it was cleanse the tone and the moisturizer um, this is a foaming facial cleanser I do go through different products all the time so I'm gonna actually talk about the cleanse the cleansers first so like I said this is a foaming facial cleanser so I just on a video kind of foamed up and sud sudsed up a little bit and then I saw that Shea Moisture had the facial, like facial wash line, like a whole face line thing that kind of like coincides with their hair lines, which was like the coconut, super fruit, black, um, Jamaican black castor oil, but Jamaican black soap, I think it is. So this one, I got the super fruit multivitamin and that's a renewal facial, facial wash and scrub. I liked it cause I love the smell of this line. So I wanted to try it. And this one has more of a creamy consistency, more of a creamy uh, texture to it. So sometimes I'll use this, like if I'm in a shower and I didn't wash my face, I'll use this in a shower. And then I had got this from Origins, um, a free sample. And it's the Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. So this one has um, a mixture of both. Like it's kind of creamy, but it does kind of suds up, sud up a little bit. But this is just to help with like dry and oily skin in a way just to kind of, it doesn't leave my face dry, it doesn't leave my face oily. It kind of just checks it, as it says, and then bounces out my skin. So my skin kind of feels just refreshed, if you get what I'm saying. Like it's not like that in between stage. Toners I was using previously, rose water. I got it from Whole Foods. I was using that with the first time ever within my products for my um, 
consistency and just my routine and I loved it. It was like really good. I really enjoyed it. It was light. It smelled good. It really kind of cleared up my face and kind of even my skin tone. And then I got this astringent. So I wouldn't say so much a toner. This is more of like an astringent, but it would still be within that second step of using after your facial, your cleansing, whatever. You would just use a toner, whatever it is, just to get whatever other dirt that's trapped into your pores and just kind of aid in like taking everything out. So I like this because it definitely takes a lot of the trapped dirt that's left in my face from after washing it. As you guys saw in my step two, that cotton ball was pretty gross. So yeah, so I'm liking this so far. And then the final step would be a moisturizer. So this is a dual action moisturizer. It has, of course, like I said, salicylic acid and it does moisturize my face like my face doesn't feel dry even though it does have that medication in it my face does feel moisturized it doesn't feel dry or anything like that it feels soft to the touch so i did like i do like this a lot um i actually am very like really enjoying it and those are like my products i'm kind of like semi junky when it comes to face products but that's nonetheless here or there and then the final step step four which I do once or twice a week. That's using a face mask. So I do that, like I said, once or twice a week. I'm actually due for one this week, so I'll probably do it tomorrow. Um, I should have done it today, but I'll do it tomorrow. I will do a face mask probably within the beginning of the week, and then I'll do one towards the end of the So yeah, I'll like use a mask just to really kind of refresh my face and all that. So the two masks I have in rotation right now is, again, Clean and Clear, their Blackhead Eraser cleansing mask something new um by formula 10 10.0.6 i guess i don't know i don't know guys but yeah it's called pores be pure skin clarifying mask um i really kind of like gravitated toward this one because like i said i'm a fan of fun masks they work for me and it has strawberry and yarrow in it and it says it's supposed to it's a skin refining mask that's supposed to um, boost, it has very boosters and it works to um, unclog pores so and help to like kind of perfect your complexion. So I like this one. So, so yeah, so those are my th like my little face routine family of products and um, I really, really am happy with like how my face looks because just like. I love doing makeup, I love doing all that stuff, but you gotta take care of this first because you don't wanna have a face with like bumps all over it trying to cover up makeup. Eh -eh, that's not gonna work. Video as much as I liked sharing it with you guys because I thought, you know, why not show this face that has came a long way? I'm like really happy with it. So um yeah, so hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna check you guys out on the next one. Bye.